All right. Well, here we are giving a trial run again. I've got some information for you. I'm going to give to you in just a minute. But uh, for right now, something I'm, going to, I'm excited about is that we're not going to just have preaching. You're going to have some good singing. So I've asked Jerry and Billy going to sing for us tomorrow. Jerry's going to come this right now and just sing a song for you. And then I'll come back and I've got some information for you. Okay? Hang on. Here we go. <laughs> standing behind watching on my phone trying to watch everything and would love your comments by the way uh, if uh, for some reason anything happened or we need to know that so we'd love your comments I see all of you popping things up and I'm glad to have you do that listen let me just share a few things with you while we're doing this first of all I want to share a passage of scripture with you a couple of them actually Isaiah 55 verse 8 through 9 says this for my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord for as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my, my thoughts than your thoughts. I tell you what, we should be excited at the possibility of God's ability to do something supernatural through this coronavirus. Amen? You know, God takes the worst things and makes them the best things. And we're going to see God do that through this. I just believe that. We would have never done this had we not been forced to do it. But here we are doing it. And like I posted on Facebook, I know there's a lot of comments. Don't be commenting about needing another pastor, a better looking pastor. That's not going to be funny. <laughs> all right. I just want to tell you right now. But let me give you some other things. Our church has been pushed in an area that is very uncomfortable for most of us. And I understand that. But as we, as we begin to think about what God might be doing, Three things I want to share with, four things actually. For, for those who don't like challenge or change, well, it's going to be uncomfortable for you. For those of you that love a challenge, 
Well, it's going to be exhilarating. For those who are always wanting something new and different, it'll provide opportunity. And for all of us, we must resist the urge to complain and instead encourage, love, and be patient. That's what we need to do. I, I just really think when we come out the other side of this thing, we're going to see that God has added something new to every church and every pastor and every congregation. And it's going to be, a, it's going to be amazing. And uh, like I said, it may be uncomfortable at first, but just pay attention to what God does. Let me give you some information. For at least until April the 1st, our church activities will be confined to social media. Nothing going on here with the church at all. The church office will be open, and we're going to be here for you, and we want you to come, call, whatever. You have questions, call us. We want to, we want to give you the information that we can. Uh, any of the live broadcasts will be done on the Riverside Baptist Facebook page and then later downloaded to our Riverside website. So those are the two venues that we'll be using primarily, and so I hope that you'll get tied into those. Um, all the preaching and teaching that we do will be on one of those venues and even on my own page, uh, if possible, so that you can stay in touch and know what's going on. Um, if you don't know our, our web page, it's easy to find. Just go to rbctx.org, O-R-G, and uh, get on there, and there's going to be there's several tabs you can push. And if you go to the preaching, you'll find there's uh, audio and video. And if there's a video of it, it'll be there. If it's audio, it'll be audio. And so I hope that you'll do that. Um, <clears throat> we'll do our best to get the information out to you as quickly and as efficiently as we can. Uh, if you don't know something, then call us. Just please call us. Don't feel like you're interrupting us or that it's too much. Uh, we're here and uh, we'll answer the phone and we'll give you what information we can. If you don't get hold of us, just call back and uh, we'll try to get, get the information to you as we can. Or call my phone. Most of you have my phone or call me. I'll give you the information uh, that I can. I think my greatest concern is that we have a lot of our seniors and different folks that just don't use social media. And they're gonna be out of the loop if we don't help them. And so if you know somebody like that, would you help us? Would you, would you maybe show them on their phone how they might be able to access our webpage? Uh, I think they can probably do that. And, uh, or how they might be able to get this on their phone with maybe just a simple app or something. Uh, whatever you can do to help them so they can stay connected. I, I sure don't wanna see that happen. Uh, we've got some great folks out there, and I, I, I guess my greatest concern is somebody's going to get missed out, and I don't want that to happen. I know that I've been busy uh, answering questions on, uh, the, on my Facebook page. Uh, many have messaged me questions about things, and even after all the advertising we've done about what we're doing, I'm still getting, even today, people wondering, are we going to be open? Are we going to have services? And so... Uh, I'm trying my best to get all this out as best we can. Uh, I love the video I shared on my page the other day from uh, Billy Graham. That's a man, I tell you, I love to hear him preach. He fired me up. But from that, I just want to tell you this God, my God, your God, is still on the throne. And if everything fails and everything shatters and falls apart, understand this. Our God's still on the throne, and we, he will not fail. And uh, aren't you glad that we serve a God like that? Yes. You know, the truth is, if we'll just be still, <coughs> we'll see the hand of the Lord in all of this, and it'll be exciting. Yeah. Final passage I deal with. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. I love this. Verse 20 and 21 says this. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ever think or ask according to the power that worketh in us. We will uh, unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. Amen. Hey, listen, I'm excited. I don't know what it's going to do, but I'm excited, and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, 
giving these out. I think my biggest thing, and I've told Jerry and, the, and those that might be here with me, it'll only be two or three, uh, they may, you may hear an amen or two every once in a while. I've kind of encouraged them to do that because I don't get that other than seeing it on the bottom. And I can't really, I can't really see all those quotes yet, but I'll look at them in a minute. And uh, I'm, I, I love you guys. Thanks so much. And uh, be praying for us as we go through this. I know God's going to do a great work, and we're excited about that. So, uh, all right, let me pray, and then we're going to close her down, all right? Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much for what you're doing. We don't have a clue what it is, but we sure are excited about being a part of it. And we look forward, Father, in these next few days about how you're going to use uh, the way you push the church outside the doors. Uh, maybe it's technical. Maybe it's just moving us to different places, different levels. But, Lord, we're excited over the opportunity you've given us to do something different. So, Father, use this now. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, by the way, the sermon notes are available on the Riverside Baptist Facebook page at 8.30 in the morning. You can pull them off if you want them, okay? All right, see you later. Thanks, bye.